Hi guys, just thought I would do a quick sales update as over the weekend we had a record day which was the highest amount of sales we've done in one day. Um, it was literally insane. Um, and so I wanted to bring that to you guys quickly and get it out there so that you guys, if you are out in the field at any point, can sort of see what we have found that has worked wonderfully for us this last weekend. Um, it is a lot of vintage old plastic crap, so if that doesn't interest you, I'm sorry, but that's what's been selling. Um, we're going to kick off today with Easy Amos A. Um, this was one of the games we picked up with the old Commodore, Amiga and Atari stuff. Uh, it was boxed in lovely condition with the manual and everything, and we picked up an absolute ton, like 40 or 50 games. Uh, and it cost us, I think, £40 or £50. Uh, so this one was one of the ones that stood out on its own for £11.99. We listed that and that's gone within about a week. So that's a very happy first sale. Uh, can't complain at all with that. Next up we've got the Nintendo Wii console with the sensor bar, cables and power supply. Uh, these were picked up as part of the £40 bundle. I picked up a load of Wiis, about 12 Wiis for £40. And they have served us very well as just a nice easy ticking over sale. Um, I've said this before and I will always say it, Wiis are just a nice easy steady thing to buy. Uh, and they're very reliable to sell because people are always trying to buy one for some reason, I don't know why. This doesn't come with any controls or anything so that's why it's a £12 and it was missing some flaps as well. Um, nice and easy. I mean, you know, for £12, I think we're in profit with these consoles by about £50 to £60 at this point now. Uh, we've had, I think, about half of them, if not more, go now. So they've more than paid for themselves, and there's still a load left, so I'm very, very happy with that. Rough and tumble for the Amiga. Again, this is part of a big gaming bundle which we've picked up for £50 uh, that had loads of different consoles of, of games in there, and this one just stood out again. Um, basically the way that we did it was we looked at things and we said right if it was in a £10 or less pile uh, we would do it as a job lot, £10 or more uh, would go on its own sort of thing uh, and this is just one of those standout copies this was 29.99 which I think paid for the load that this one came with because it's from a different amount of games I've picked up three or four loads of games off this same person uh, and they've cost me 30, 40 and 50 pounds sort of respectively based on how much was there and I'm pretty sure that when I picked this up I checked this one straight away and I was like oh great that pays for everything so the rest was clear profit uh, this went within a week and it was a very easy sale you know like I say it's paid for everything Think back off that one pickup, so very happy with this sale. 16 Atari ST games, job lot, like I've just said, if it was £10 or less it went into a pile, and that pile went into job lot, this is an example of one of those piles. Uh, this was 16 games, we put it for £29.99, there's nothing here that really stands out at all. Uh, I mean, even if it was sort of £7 or £8, pound, I probably would have thought about listing it on its own, but I mean, everything here was realistically like £4 to £6 pounds max. Uh, and it just seemed like a lot of effort to sort of put them all up, wait for each one to sell to get a profit. If you put it as a job lot, sometimes it will do you a lot of good. Uh, obviously you are maybe losing a little bit of money that you could be making, but you've got to take into consideration fees, posting, everything else that you're going to be doing in your time, and this just seemed like a more sensible option to us. This went within a day, so happy with that. <laughs> I can't complain. It owed us nothing by the time we went through all the other games, so this was another bit of clear profit. Very happy. Straight from one to the next, Commodore and Amiga Games job lot. Uh, one thing I will quickly say, Amiga games sell for a lot more. No matter what they are, they just sell better. For some reason, the Amiga's line of consoles were a much more desired collector's item and still are. Uh, this was 15 of them, and as you can see, there's duplicates in there and everything, and this went for £40. Nothing here again is standout. This was just one of those things that we put together based on what was there, and nothing really was any value. Uh, there is sports games in there, which no matter what platform they are ever on, are never worth money. Um, unless, of course, you get FIFA for the PS2, <laughs> but this was what was here. And this went for £39.99, it went within two days. Um, really, really happy. Like I say, if you see Amiga, anything to do with Amiga and it's cheap, pick it up. My god, it's worth the money. 
Dragon 32 computer. These are sort of the unwanted uncle to the Commodore. People didn't really have a lot of knowledge back in the day about computers, uh, and this is what came out as a rival to the Commodore and everything else. It's a lot lower end spec, it's not greatly designed, but it was mass produced and it was mass produced quickly whilst they were trying to fill the void of another console that wasn't really hitting the market as fast. So this was produced by a company here in South Wales, but unfortunately the company was in some really bad financial circumstances when they developed the console. Not a lot were produced because of that, and there's probably only around about 300 to 400,000 in circulation max. That might sound like a lot, but when you take into consideration sort of the SNES and NES sold millions of units, and they're still hard to come by, these are a rarity, especially in working condition. This one was in working condition, it worked beautifully. Uh, the only problem that it had was it was missing a key. We picked this up for 15, as we picked up every one of them so far from the same person, and this went for 39.99, as you can see there, and it went within about two days. They are great sellers, and people from around the world collect them. This is going to Australia, so very happy with that. Sega Mega Drive 2, console, games, joysticks, controllers, the lot. Uh, picked this up. Christ, about a month and a half ago, um, I picked it up with a load of other games and it cost me £30. Uh, I took out the games that were sort of worthwhile, which was like Sonic 3D, Earthworm Jim, and a few others, Wiz and Liz, god I can't remember the top of my head, and uh, they've all sold really well and they've made a nice profit. So I put this bundle up for £49.99 of what was left with a couple of Sonic games, just sort of... As the mascot of the console, Sonic really does help to sell. It's like a Mario game. Uh, and this went within about a month, and it was going for $49.99. Uh, so really happy and nice, great profit overall. Even if this is just sold on its own, I'd still be in profit, but with everything else that went as well, just a great thing, a uh, great little profit. One thing to always check in case you're not 100% sure and you're picking up off Gumtree or Facebook, for example, if you can see the games, just try eBay checking some of them. Uh, as long as you're making your money back off the games, you're going to make your money back total, and that's always a great thing. So that's something I always do, that's something I did in this case, and it's served me very well. Another Dragon 32. I won't bore you on the history this time, but I will say this. These consoles have serial numbers on the back. The serial numbers are what make the console a little bit rarer if you want. The lower the serial number, the better the number that you're going to get price-wise. <laughs> um, like I said, there is around about 300 to 400,000 in circulation, so if you can get a unit that was made sort of below 2,000, you can definitely ask more for the price. I haven't been lucky enough to have any of those, but I can't complain with what I have had. Uh, this one went with the power supply, which is why it went for a little bit more, because the power supplies on their own do sell for $17.99 on their own, because they are a specialist type. Uh, so this went for $54.99, full working condition, everything's great with it, happy happy. Commodore 64 bundle, this is where we are getting into the real money of what we make on the weekend. <laughs> um, this went for £150 at 1 in the morning, we'd just gotten into bed, I was sat talking to Laurie and said, are you aware that if this, this, and this sells within like a day, we'd make £500? This went Sunday night, 1am. Um, and it was one of the things I predicted to go. <laughs> Along with two dragons, <laughs> this bundle of games, and the next item coming up. Uh, we were over the moon with this, because this is from a lot of different stuff we picked up off the one seller, as she's sort of finding it all in drips and drabs. It's not all coming out in one go, because she's clearing areas to find things. We sort of waited and put this all together once we realized what its worth was and what was and wasn't there and what would and wouldn't make a complete system. This system has literally loads with it. It's got the unit itself, a printer, cassette reader, disk drive, uh, the MIDI keyboard you can see, it's got a dial-up modem for god's sake, um, games, software, development kits, loads. There is loads here and it has really been a great thing to do. Individually we probably would have got about 170 for it but it was more worthwhile to put it up as a big jump bundle uh, and that's what we did. Uh, it went for 150 within a week. Uh, went at 1 in the morning and it started off the record day which was the best day so I'm very very happy with this. Um, great sale. 
Finally, we have the Amiga A1200. This was a really great selling unit back in the day, and it still stays the same now. As I've already said earlier in the video, Amiga just is more collectible. I don't know why, it just is. The Amiga originally had the best selling bundle, came with an, a load of games and a box called Desktop Dynamite, and it basically gave you everything you needed to get running. It had the software, it had games, it had uh, word processing applications, it had everything that you needed to start up. We didn't have the original Desktop Dynamite box, but we did have the box that housed all the games that would have come with the system. Uh, came with all the original posters, instructions, everything. Uh, so this, we know that this console came from a desktop Dynamite bundle because it's the only one that she's been managed able to find. We put it with it, and we put it with some games. Now, if you can ever find it with the original box and everything in there, you're looking at about 400 quid. That's not a joke. That's how much this sells for. It's ridiculous. Um, we did not list it for that much because we don't have the original box and the unit itself wasn't in the greatest condition. It doesn't look great, it's got some warping on the front as shown in the pictures that we put up, um, but it works. <laughs> Shocking me, we turned it on, plugged it in, it worked, which I couldn't believe. It was missing some keys when we first bought it because another thing that this console did have wrong with it was the keys were made from a certain type of plastic or molded in a certain way and it made the plastic very brittle over time. So we found a guy on eBay who sells the keys individually and I was in, talking to him trying to get these keys sorted and once they got here uh, we fit them in, took the pictures and this went within 24 hours. It got loads of watches, loads of interest. Um, and was just fantastic to see. Uh, and that rounded off our record day <laughs> with another 179.99 sale. Everything there probably set me back about 35, 40 quid. So a very, very tidy 120, 130 pound profit. Uh, really happy, keep your eyes peeled for Amiga. Even the desktop Dynamite games on their own, we had that originally when we weren't aware there was an Amiga with it. They would have gone for £100 on their own. Probably. <laughs> I'm not sure. It had watches and everything, but we took it down. We didn't want to risk it selling once we found that she had the Amiga too. So, great, happy, easy sale. Wonderful weekend. Wonderful, just amazing time. Um, and really, really happy. Um... Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, found it informative, and I haven't waffled on too much about boring old plastic crap that no one else loves besides me. <laughs> and I will, uh, I'll speak to you guys probably this weekend. I think we might be going out, unless this woman messages us again, say she's got more stuff, in which case we will probably be, uh, up there buying more. <laughs> yeah. Take care, guys. Lots of love. I hope yourselves are going great, and have a fantastic weekend.